it's Vicky here. I just got back from a jog. Um, have my protein shake here. My jog reminded me of Utah's phenomenon, and I wanted to speak to you guys about that. I'm not sure if anyone knows about Utah's phenomenon, but this is when your body is overheated, whether it's from weather, from the sauna, from fever, from a bath, a hot bath, whatever makes your body temperature rise, your internal body temperature rise, this can happen. So it's called Utah's phenomenon. And for everyone, it's different. The symptoms that occur because your body temperature has ri risen is different for everyone. So some people experience foot drop. If you don't know what that is, it's when your foot goes a limb and you can't really move it too much. You There's a lot of effort that comes from your part in order to move your leg. Sometimes uh, your muscles are weakened. Sometimes for me, it's a brain fog, cog fog come, arises from my body temperature being overheated. Um, so again, everyone's different. For me, uh, my Utah phenomena, ph phenomenon uh, consists of um, bad mood, like, oh my God, I have zero tolerance for <laughs> any nonsense. Um, I can go from zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> I also have lesions in my lower spine. And the reason I know this is because I've speak spoken to my neurologist in regards to this, but I have lesions in the lower back of my spine. So therefore that causes my intestinal problems that I have that I've spoken in the past about, uh, which are bowel movement, uncontrollable bowel movement. So sometimes when my body is overheated, even if I'm sitting in a hot car, I don't know it out of nowhere. Oh my God, I have to go poop. And when I have to go, I gotta go. If I can't, then I won't make it. If there is no toilet near me, I won't make it. And there's no controlling that because my body's already overheated without me even realizing it. And it's over. Uh, another thing that happens to me is my body does start to weaken. Like my leg starts to weaken. Fatigue. Fatigue is another symptom um, that that happens to me. Um, again, everyone's different. It can be so many different things that can occur from your body overheating when you have multiple sclerosis or any other neurological disease that attacks your body. So again that that's what happens to me with uh when i experience utah phenomenon um <laughs> but i i try to cut i try to diminish my body uh temperature from rising but when it does and i have no control over it again when i'm sitting in a hot car in traffic i can't control that so i try to have um cooling things like a uh, cool water like water I always try to carry water with me um I always try to carry um like something cool like I try to layer on for me I try to layer on so that I can layer off so that if you know if it starts getting cold uh, hot you know I can start taking <laughs> taking my jacket off or whatever I have on um if it's cold I mean if it's super hot outside of course I'm not wearing a jacket but you know uh misters the way you can try to counteract the Utah phenomenon, which is the, you know, weakness and things like that that you're experiencing is by cooling off your body. So, uh, cold packs, if you have any, always try to carry some, again, water. For me, it's just simple, just water. I try to carry water all the time. Um, and um, also, I try to fan myself. Um, I try to find ways to keep cool. Some of the... Some of the suggestions on what I was reading as far as for Utah's phenomenon uh, comes, it's um, the cooling vest, the, you know, the cool um, handkerchief on your neck, and just simple things that can lower your body temperature. So once your body temperature is lowered, then those symptoms, which are like fatigue or whatever's happening to you, the um, foot drop, I know sometimes it's scary because you don't know if you're having another attack or what's going on, but when your body temperature rises, it's, it's not a permanent. Usually, usually it's not permanent. These symptoms that you're feeling are not permanent. So I just wanted to touch base on that because I have been reading and that, you know, these symptoms can be very scary and it can leave one feeling like oh my god i'm having another exacerbation i'm having another relapse but in reality it's just symptoms that you're feeling because of the nerve damage that you've already had or experienced internally and it's just exacerbating it for the time being because of your body temperature 
uh, being high. So try to stay cool um, and I hope everyone's well. Try not to freak out when Utah phenomenon happens. So just wanted to give you guys a fun fact there. It's not fun. It's not too fun when it's happening to you, but just wanted to let y'all know Please try not to freak out. Um, if the symptoms uh, consist for more than 24 to 48 hours, then you do consult your doctor. Um, if you want to consult your doctor, then and there you can. But honestly, um, from my experience, I, I know that I just allow my body temperature to cool down and then I feel better. These symptoms start improving and I'm good. So just wanted to give you a little food for thought. As I was running, I was thinking of that. So you guys have a wonderful day and I hope everyone stays cool. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you wish. If not, have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Goodbye.